नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट टी टू डी फ्लिप लॉक कन्वर्शन ही है टोटली वी हैव टू फॉलो फाइव स्टेप्स स्टेप वन इज आइडेंटिफाई द अवेलेबल एंड द रिक्वायर्ड फ्लिप लॉक्स ही द अवेलेबल फ्लिप लॉक मीन्स इनपुट फ्लिप लॉक दैट इज टी फ्लिप लॉक वेर यज द रिक्वायर्ड फ्लिप लॉक इज डी फ्लिप लॉक सेकेंड स्टेप कंस्ट्रक्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक टेबल फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड फ्लिप लॉक Required flip flop means output flip flop. That is D flip flop. So here the second step is based upon the required flip flop. Uh, let us see the characteristic table of the D flip flop. Uh, here the inputs are D and Q n are the inputs. Whereas Q n plus one is the output. Here Q n plus one means next state output. Whereas Q n means current state output. So here we are treating Q n as input. Whereas Q n plus one is output. Here we have two inputs, so totally we will have two power two, four combinations. So here we know about D flip flop. It is useful for storing data. So here uh, the next state output is nothing but D value only. So here what is D value zero? So next state output is also zero. D value is zero. So next state output is also zero. D value is one. D value is one. And step three, step four is based upon the available flip flop. Step three, construct excitation table for the available flip flop. Here the available flip flop is T flip flop. Here the inputs are Q n, Q n plus one. Whereas the output is T. Here we have two inputs, so totally we will have two power two, four combinations. Next the value of T is very very simple. If the If the inputs are same, then the output is zero. Whereas if the inputs are different, then the output is one. So zero zero means same inputs. So output is zero. One one means same inputs. So output is zero. Whereas zero one one zero, that means inputs are different. So output is one. Now according to the excitation table, we have to fill this table. So we have to take one more column here. So that column is T. According to Q n and Q n plus one, just we have to fill the table. If the inputs are same, zero zero, then what is the output? Zero zero means zero. So same inputs means zero. One zero means different. So output is one. So according to Q n and Q n plus one, fill this column. So zero one means one. One one same inputs zero. So step four is also based upon the available flip flop. Here the point is step two is based upon the required flip flop. Various step three and step four are based upon the available flip flop. Step four is find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop, that is T flip flop. So for T flip flop, we have to find the Boolean expression. If you observe here, here T value is one in two occasions. So here the inputs are zero one. T value is one in these two situations. So here T value is one when the inputs are zero one. So zero one means D bar Q n. T value is one when the inputs are one zero. So one zero means D Q n bar. So we can write this as this is the formula for exclusive R. D exclusive R Q n. And the step five is draw the circuit diagram. So for the circuit diagram, just we have to take the input. So here what is the input? T is the input, and it produces two outputs, Q n and Q n bar, actual output and complemented output. So here. Uh, what is the formula here? D excludes you are Q n. What is the formula here? For space constraints, I am erasing this portion. D excludes you are Q n. So let this is uh, D. Let this is D. And uh, the next input is from excludes you are. So let us uh, take like this. So this is excludes you are. So here one of the input is D, and the second input is from Q n. Second input is from Q n. So we have to pass this as input to the T. So this is the circuit diagram. So in this way we can convert T to the D flip flop.